Now, when you first saw this product on screen right here, things became amazing. It was a different way of focusing, but it tanked. It royally tanked, the company admitted it, but what new thing out there is there on how to refocus an image after it's been taken? Something really, really struck out to me. I saw a commercial for it, and it's just something that was just like, holy crap, this might be a real thing in the future. So let's dive into it. I'm going to explain it a little bit, make a quick video for you, but I thought this was really interesting. Let's go into it right now. What am I talking about? Focusing after you already have taken a photo. Well, that's been a thing for a long time now. But a company called Lytra, once again, I'm sure you guys and girls have seen this thing before. It's the little lipstick camera, uh, you know, something like this. And basically, they had this light field ray technology thing that you had to put into their own desktop software, which in turn, you can focus after, you can change the focus by pressing on uh, by pressing on the screen of the camera or on, or on the actual editing desktop that it had. But it failed significantly because it wasn't really compatible. You couldn't do much, blah, 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 blah. But so that failed. But essentially, they described it as having many, many lenses. So like right here, this is off Elytra's site. Uh, the Lytro light field sensor incorporates a special compound, micro lens arrays, which is thousands of tiny lenses, and it lets in all different kind of light, the scene, etc., and everything like that. But in a dumbed down form, a lot of people didn't understand that. And I'm sure it's more technical than I'm going to say. It's going to be a little different. But in a short sense, in a short sense, it's focus stacking. Now, what is focus stacking? Basically, so say you have a lens that is at f2.8, but you want to get a really deep, different kind of field aperture, kind of like a cheap Brenizer method. You, you shoot at 2.8, you shoot at f4, you know, and you go all the way up the range to f8, 11, 16, etc. That is focus stacking, and you combine, merge together certain different ones to get a specific look you want, usually a specific depth of field. So that's effectively what this did just on a terrible platform that couldn't be used anywhere. Well, I actually just saw a, uh, a commercial by Intel, and it's just usually they're boring commercials, but Intel, you know, they deal with computers a lot, processing, all that kind of stuff within computers, a lot of PCs, etc., you know, they had a very, very interesting thing, and it was called Real Real Sense Refocus, and this is something that'll be coming out in their tablets and computers and everything that they'll be doing in the near future. So is this going to actually be a way, and they showed this in regards to video, but if you get done with video, it can be done with photos. Did they do something different to where you, where you can create something differently? So essentially here, it's just them talking at a wedding and then you're going to see, uh, you know, they're going to bring up this computer, this tablet, and it's going to look the same thing what Lytro does. So once again, let's, let's show what that, uh, what that was. He was, they were able to shift the focus again. And I feel that they did something very, very di uh, similar to what Lytro did, but on a more universal scale, they're going to talk about more about this in the next upcoming months. Uh, I think they're going to do some kind of, you know, big press conference type of thing, but this is amazing technology that can really change the industry in a really, really good way. And as long as it's done right, and not just, you know, on one different, on one piece of technology that no one else can use. That's why Lytro failed. That's why this thing could be really, really great. And I think it's just an advanced form of focus stacking, especially on video, uh, you know, in that regards. So I really recommend you guys read up on this. You guys and girls read up on this because this is something really interesting, can really blow the industry away. Um, yes, I, obviously you should get your focus right the first time. Um, but I have a feeling that this will make its way into cameras or at least, uh, editing software very, very shortly, because this is really something that can help out a lot of people, especially in low light where you just have to shift focus just a little bit to get something in sharp. Or if it's, you know, one, if you just miss the, the front eye, just by a little bit, etc. Yes, you got to be careful. But what do you guys think about this? Please let me know down in the comments below. Have you heard about this yet? What else is out there? What else is out there about this kind of technology where you're, you're going to shift your focus? It's going to help you out afterwards, even though you thought you had it right in camera. So discuss. I'm very, very uh, curious what you what you guys have to say, what you guys and girls have to say, because it's just something that can really change the industry. That's all I got. I wanted to bring this up to everyone because this is something that should be known. I haven't heard a lot of talk about it. As I said, I saw it on a commercial and I said, holy hell, I have to look into this. And I wanted to make a video uh, if you're watching this today on Friday, because I think it's just very, very important. 
what this can do for everyone. So that's all I got. Let me know what you guys have to think down below in the comments. Eric Ross, the guy with the eye. Intel refocus, real sense, whatever, could be something that really changed the industry. Have a good one. Take it easy.